There is one word in the music production world that is guaranteed to set forums, threads, and comment sections ablaze. Auto-tune. Love it or loathe it, auto-tune or pitch correction is now a staple of modern music production. In GarageBand for Mac, adding pitch correction to your vocal tracks is a pretty straightforward process. With a couple of provisos. Here's how it works. The first thing to do before adding pitch correction to your vocal track is to work out the key of the project you're working on. Wait, wait, come back, come back. You know me, there'll be no dull music theory shenanigans here. I'll keep this bit as brief and as to the point as possible. Note that you can use GarageBand's pitch correction in its most basic form by just selecting your track, opening the editor window, selecting the track tab, and whacking the slider up to 100, or whatever value you want. Doing this without checking the limit to key box will have GarageBand try to adjust notes to the closest note to it on the chromatic scale. It kinda works, but likely won't give you the result that you're looking for. The rest of this tutorial will assume that you have this box checked. The only thing more exciting than the thought of the absolute flame war that will no doubt take place in the comment section of this video is the thought of you clicking the like button. So let me know you're enjoying this video by showing me some thumb love down below. The type of automatic pitch correction that GarageBand uses will attempt to correct a wrong note to the nearest correct note in the key that your project is in. So if you don't set the project key correctly, the pitch correction will attempt to correct to the wrong note, and the whole thing will sound a bit weird. If you're not sure how to find the key of your project, GarageBand comes with all the tools you need to find out. I personally go by ear usually and try to identify the tonic note or the first note in the scale and go from there. So for example, if I open up a software instrument track and then open musical typing, in this project I can hunt around until I find a note that sounds just about right anywhere in this song. C is the tonic note here, so the project is in the key of C. To find out whether it's C major or C minor, I need to play the note a major third up from C and see if it fits with the song too. Which it does, so the project is in C major. To change the key signature of your project, Click on the LCD at the top of the screen to open a menu, where you can switch to different key signatures. GarageBand defaults to C major, but you can change the key of your song and whether it's major or minor here. With that done, you can either record vocals with pitch correction applied to them, or apply the effect to your recording after the fact. Personally, I always record a clean, dry vocal take first, and then apply things like pitch correction and effects afterwards. But you do you. In this project, I have two vocal tracks recorded, a main vocal and a falsetto double of the main vocal. Here's what the dry main vocal sounds like. You need a change, a different view. Turn the same old into new. To access the pitch correction slider, open the editor window on your selected track 
by clicking on the scissors icon in the top left of GarageBand's screen. You can find the slider down here and adjust by clicking and dragging on it. If I crank it right up, you can hear a more dramatic effect. You need a change, a different view. Turn the same old into new. I'll probably want to keep the pitch correction dialed back a bit on this main vocal though. You need a change, a different view. On the harmony vocal though, I can go for a more dramatic effect. Need a change, a different view. And here's how they sound together with other effects added and in a full mix. You need a change, a different view. You need a change, a different view. Turn the same old into new. You need a change, a different view. That's the long and short of using pitch correction in GarageBand for Mac. If you're just getting started with GarageBand, you can check out my top tips right here. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.